Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Reber. This is a huge game, maybe the biggest Isaac game we've ever had, even though we're playing as Eden. We start with bad HP, um, and a pretty poor rate of fire, Blue Baby Soul, best friend, my best friend, and uh, Ball of Tar. It's okay, but it could go off the rails somewhat quickly. 8W7G, PL6G. It's certainly not a, uh, a one start. Like, that's, that's not even a question. Our speed is pretty good. Halo of Flies does help us out defensively. Oh my god. Really? I stay online all freaking day on Skype. Or I say offline. I sign in for two freaking seconds. Bear Taffy sends me a Lionel Richie lyric. You know what? It's good. Took the edge off a little bit here. I gotta admit, feeling a little uh, stilted at the start of this. Um, because I'm, I'm a little anxious about this run. This is, uh, you know, for 50, that's very, very scary. Uh, it's something I didn't think necessarily would ever be possible, but maybe I can, uh, you know, take the load off a little bit or take the edge off a little bit by, uh, giving you guys a fun fact. Here's a fun fact. Um, do you know what country cheddar cheese comes from? The answer may surprise you. It's not, uh, the United States of America. Many people out there probably do know the answer, but, uh, for those of you who are unaware like I was, cheddar cheese actually originated in uh, in England, in the Cheddar village of uh, Somerset in the southern part of the country. So there you go, there's a little bit of information for you. You know, a lot of people, don't be that person who's like, why'd you tell us that? I already knew that. Yo, this is dissemination of information, man. By d watching this video, I have, or by making this video, I've now made, you know, a few thousand people, probably statistically speaking, a little smarter. Isn't that a little noble? And now I feel like I've done my good deed for this episode, and now we can, uh, Scum the shit out of Boss Rush, get Brimstone, etc, etc, and, and ball out of control here. A range up is okay. I didn't want to use um, Best Friend because it might actually end up being worthwhile for us on the boss fight. Mom's Coin Purse. This is very scary this early, but two of the same pills. Full health. I found pills. That's like a, a pretty huge disappointment, all things considered, but it's okay. I would like to go to the curse room, but in order to make our curse room viable, uh, I'm gonna need the spirit heart or some HP from our boss, because I don't want to lose our spirit heart and then be unable to really, um, you know, work with it. Actually, what we can do is use our stars card. Good enough? Yeah, good enough. Uh, we can use our stars card to get out and then only lose half a spirit heart. It's still a little risky though, because we know we're not going to be getting HP from this boss. Um, Really, one hit all of a sudden puts us in the danger zone, but, you know, we're gonna be hoping that maybe we can get some spirit hearts from our curse room, or maybe a, a better spacebar item, or maybe a guppy item, or, you know, any any combination therein. Ball of bandages right off the bat is totally fine. We'll take our stars card with us. We have full health. If we ever get down to a half red heart, we can pull out of it, but uh, this is gonna be a little bit dangerous as well, so... This is okay. I can't believe we were able to get to 15 cents and then we bought one full health pill for like 15 cents. It's a little disappointing. So there's our stars card. Uh, obviously that didn't end up being the most fantastic curse room of all time. That's okay. We still have half a spirit heart backing us up here. In hindsight, the right way to play this, don't go to the curse room and uh, maybe buy the spirit heart instead of buying the Curse of the Blind shop item, but we didn't know. It could have been Red Candle or something like that. Curse of the Unknown. A little dangerous. We know exactly how much HP we have, but what I don't have an encyclopedic knowledge of is exactly how much damage we take from every single enemy and every single champion, etc, etc, and whether it's contact damage or tear damage or, you know, creep damage, etc, etc. So, um, I'm slightly anxious about this. Right now, the easiest way to ensure that we don't have to be anxious about it is just to not get hit. So let's try to let's try to perform to that ideal. And definitely, a uh, a deal with the devil is something that we want to pay very close attention to as well. Don't want to accidentally, you know, curse of the unknown, kill ourselves by taking a deal that we can't afford, or I guess more accurately, two deals that we can't afford. Specifically, if we get hit, we can't take a deal that doesn't give us HP because. Or, or survivability in, in some form at least, because we won't have any spirit hearts backing us up. This is good though, uh, we have a bomb. A bomb gives us some hope. With this hope, we can uh, now access a, uh, or access whatever is inside of a tinted rock, and if that happens to be a couple of spirit hearts, you know, or small rock is great as well, but a couple of spirit hearts probably a little bit more useful immediately right off the bat here, just to give us a, 
Better chance of survivability. I'm gonna guess that we probably, unfortunately, will not be able to bomb our way into the item room. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. No need to get bent out of shape yet. Well, we do have a shop available. A couple of different conceivable locations for our secret room, but it looks like it's the one that's like northeast, but by a couple of tiles here on our on our map. If I had to guess, I'd say that's probably where it is, and it looks like, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, we won't have a good opportunity to check that out in advance of the boss fight. This is, uh, this is a tense moment, but it's okay. Who are we fighting? Monstro. That's not so bad. Good damage with, uh, my best friend. And we stand a very, very good chance, especially if I'm not an idiot, and I don't use, um, our ball of bandages to do some contact damage. We stand a real good chance of getting our deal with the devil here. So I did, I went back on it, I did a little contact damage. Can you blame me? It's so tempting. Alright, let's get an HP upgrade and not fuck up this deal with the devil. This is all important. That's a range upgrade. I can't take any of them. I could take Guppy's head, uh, but I, I can't justify it. Our HP is too fucked up right now. As much as I would love to, there's just no conceivable way that I can swing this. Uh, like, I, I don't want to do this and then put myself on a half heart and be like, okay, well, let's just not get hit ever. You know, we don't know if we're going to get HP on the next floor. I'll admit, though, I'm going to be a little salty if we get an HP upgrade right here. And I could have taken it the whole time. Now, if we get the opportunity, we may go back. And if we don't get the opportunity, that's fine, too. But if we get the opportunity, we may go back and take one of the guppy items. We do have a curse room, of, or yeah, not a curse room, but a, a boss trap room available to us. We shouldn't be able to get into it, I think. But we do have a tinted rock, and now all of a sudden we have a real chance of picking up enough spirit hearts to feel pretty good about having a chance to take something from a deal with the devil. Why are we able to get in here? That scares me a little bit. I don't think we should be able to get in here. We might want to take a full health pill and just, you know, sort our shit out here. We'll take our full health pill after we're already done the inside, though, because we do want to check out our, our item room in our shop in the meantime. This is good. At least we can turn it around a little bit. Big Fan is another orbital that helps us out a little bit. What do you think? Use our key to go to the shop or use our key to go to the boss trap room? That's a good question. We have two HP now, a, a couple of spirit hearts backing us up. Oh, there's another tinted rock right there I didn't even notice. We could take both guppy items now. If they're still available to me, but I really doubt that they are. They are, okay. We don't have 2 HP. We have 1 HP. We have spirit hearts, though. Okay, so fuck taking the second guppy item. We only have 1 HP, yeah, okay. I thought I had 2 HP after fighting Gluttony. That would have been a terrible mistake to make. So we're running entirely on spirit hearts now, which means we have to come in here. Oh. <laughs> The safest bet is to just take the spirit art and go. Converter could have turned it into some red heart action. I don't know even what to say about that at this point. We're just going to head down to the next floor. We've got three, maybe four spirit hearts. We got four and a half. Okay, that's good. Um, and we have a guppy item. We have a better space bar item than we previously had. It's not great, but it's not so bad. I'll tell you one thing. I would be extremely happy if we didn't see another orbital over the course of this run. Sacrificial Dagger may be accepted, but um, getting a little bit sick of uh, all the orbital action that we've got going on, but it's nice to have the defense and I guess the offensive touch as well, but we're going to be uh, looking for some damage here for sure. We're, we're still sorely lacking in the damage department and not only did our early uh, item rooms and bosses fail us with respect to HP, the quintessential early game upgrade. They failed us completely with respect to tiers and damage as well, so we're a little bit in a sore spot there, and I don't feel comfortable calling this even close to a one run at all, you know? I, I tend to maybe be a little bit early about calling those wins. This uh, situation, though, has me a little frightened, uh, and I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest with you. It, it wouldn't feel right if win 50 was just right from the get-go ball out of control. But I have high hopes, and that's uh, half a spirit heart down the drain, but that's not too bad. That's the first hit we've taken, I think, that we didn't intend to take. You know what I mean? Great shot from Blue Baby's only friend there. Um, let's 
get some HP from this boss and not get a deal with the devil and just be content to live quietly in a in a house in the Shire with Howard Shore's lovely soundtrack backing us up. Do 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 do. Like this is where I want to be right now. I don't want to be in Isengard, okay? I don't want to be in Minas Tirith. I want to be spaghetti and meatballs and and you know uh, Paul Lanka on the radio. Which is my favorite TV on the radio cover band. Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah, that's like really, really good. The body is a huge help for us. Now, you know what? Let's take a deal with the devil. I've decided that the Shire is a little bit boring for me. And it's time to go off on a, a dangerous adventure. Is it secret? Is it safe? And all that. Um, let's not use this as a terrible excuse to start taking awful damage and he hemorrhaging HP. Because, you know, it, it's like having... I don't know, like $2,000. When you're young, especially if you're like a small child, $2,000 is an unimaginable sum of money. But you can't imagine living your whole life on $2,000. That's, um, I hope I'm not offending anybody by saying this. Maybe if you're super, super, like, unbelievably frugal. I don't even understand how, you know, it, it adds up, man. That's like... $50 a year over the course of $40 or 40 years of adult life. Best of luck to you if that's your plan. I'm just saying Maybe if you went to prison you could make it happen, but I'm not I'm not suggesting that as a theory I'm just saying that six hearts is like $2,000, you know, it's it's nice to have Especially early, but you can't imagine uh, that sustaining you for the length of an entire run No deal with the devil, but it's fine. The thing that makes me a little salty is no uh, No damage upgrades and no damage upgrades are going to make this a bit of a tricky one. As we continue to, you know, get deeper and deeper into the game. It's going to become harder and harder to kill these enemies without resorting to the use of orbitals. And when we get these orbitals starting to do damage, that's when we start to take more damage as a result of them, of course. Looks very unlikely that we'll be able to make our... Uh, we're actually kind of fast. We're going to miss boss rush, but faster than you'd think, given our shit damage. Um... We're going to miss Boss Rush. Almost certainly. And you know what? That's totally fine. We have no real interest in it right now. We've already been here. Have we been to every room except maybe like a mob trap room down here? What do we got inside of that? Two of these. I think it's worth giving it a shot. And you know what? Bloody Penny, because we have a good chance at an arcade on the next floor, seems like a really, really awesome pickup for us. Maybe allows us to, um, to get started on... Basically enough money to never have to worry about not being able to buy anything from our shop ever again. That's my hope. And I like the the mob trap room here. Because it actually does give us a pretty good chance to test out our orbital damage dealing capabilities. And we got some good stuff done there. And the creep makes it very, very easy to predict when the enemies are going to pop out at us. Okay. I don't think we're going to go to our shop because... Seven cents does not a good shop make. We could use another spirit heart, but we can't. We don't need another spirit heart badly enough for me to justify that. So instead, I'm thinking that uh, we'll just leave. Yeah, that's probably our shop right there. Presumably, at least. Maybe a library, but very doubtful. Um, and you know what? Let's even try to get maybe a magic mushroom out of this. Nope, so my muted uh, kind of demeanor here will continue, which is not to say I'm not having a good time on this run. I like that it's a little bit of a mystery, a little bit of a puzzle box, how we're going to get ourselves out of this one right now. It's amazing how differently this run might look right now if we'd had the body on our first floor item room, and as a result, we're just able to, like, take everything from the deal with the devil. Two guppy items is a, is a world away from one guppy item. Namely, what I mean is right now we have Guppy's head. Um, if we had been able to take Guppy's hairball as well, we would be well on our way to becoming Guppy. We gotta be very, very cautious about the, uh, amount of damage that we take. Not just for deal with the devil purposes, but for raw survival. But we're really not very, very far away from being able to start, you know, whoo, taking a big sigh of relief and... Starting to feel like we're in the driver's seat here. Right now we're not in the driver's seat. Right now this is like when you're on a skateboard and you start going downhill. And you're like, shit, man, I'm pretty much all I can do is try to stay balanced here and minimize the risk of my own death. That's pretty much where we're at. Um, we're gonna we're gonna stay balanced. <laughs> we're gonna, you know, try to keep ourselves as healthy as possible and minimize the risk of, of certain death. 
but uh, on, until we uh, get to the bottom of the hill, until we get some kind of item out of this, there's not too much that we can do to really uh, influence it, you know? This is a terrible room for us in our current situation because we're going to have to basically just practice our dodging skills against Fistula. But uh, when the Silkworm... That was very dumb. That was almost dumber. But when this Fistula parts uh, break into Silkworms, then the, the creep that we generate here is going to destroy the crap out of it. Well, it's not going to destroy them, but it's going to slow them down a lot. All right, one bomb, finally. Would have been very tempted to use it on that room, but I digress. Could be the secret room there, but we won't know about that for some time. Ideal setup for us, it's actually nice to have a um, ball of tar. You know, the enemies get close to us, we, we catch them up in this net, spiderweb style. And then once they're here, uh, we can hit them a little bit more easily with our orbitals to make our lives better and safer. Till it's seven cents, a little disappointing, but you know it's not consumables uh, from random drops that are going to give us the money that we want here. This is definitely going to be uh, like one arcade giving us 20, 30 cents, depending on how our luck stat and uh, bloody penny work out together. It's amazing how differently rooms look depending on your damage, right? This is a room that is always a little bit annoying. But doing it right now, I'm like, oh, this is the worst shit in the world. <laughs> we have no damage. This is like our train wreck run. And, you know, we're, we're getting close to the point. We're halfway, roughly, through the early game. Starting to get at least a little bit nervous about what the future holds for us. It's, it's completely conceivable that we could just have the same bad luck that we've had through the first half of this run. Double it up. Have it... Oh, jeez. Have it through the second half of this run. And, and all of a sudden, we're in a very, very dangerous position. Alright, we're finally done with this, but let's not focus on the potential negatives for now. Let's focus on the positives. Good amount of HP. Uh, there's an extra HP upgrade right there. The body was, when we needed it, the item that saved us, basically. Uh, we would be, imagine if we didn't have any extra HP right now. Like if we were still on zero or, or one, I guess, from the boss. We would be in a terrible position. I would be extremely nervous right now. It made a nervous, anxious, slight but meaningful difference. We can live long enough to get a good deal with the devil, and we have the HP necessary to trade for it. So that's like that's what the body is going to do for us. Plus, on rooms like that, Guppy's head helps us out a great deal. I, I don't know. We save our bomb, because one bomb uh, is better used, I think, to give us an HP upgrade rather than blowing up three skulls. I like blowing up the skulls. I'm just not just making an excuse. It's actually just, I think, the right call. We definitely want the HP upgrade. If we can possibly get it. Tears up, it's a start. You know, I'm not gonna... Beggars can't be choosers, basically. I'm not gonna complain too much about getting an HP upgrade on a run where we have been... Or a, a tears upgrade on a run where we have been sorely lacking damage. I'm also loath to do it, but I think I will take a second here after the item room and shoot all this poop. Punching bag. It is acceptable, but bordering on not really that worthwhile. Well, it's worthwhile because we don't have to do anything for it, but it's bordering on, you know, something we would have re-rolled if we had a d6. But we don't. And we're probably getting close to the devil room, so I probably wouldn't have re-rolled it anyway. It's all academic. Candle, maybe? Mmm, Pandora's box. Pandora's box and a candle. Pandora's box is an item here. Let's keep Guppy's head for now. And enjoy our newfound HP and spirit hearts. And if we get the money, which will be very easy with the blood bank, it's probably good to replace Guppy's head with a candle at this point. Because if we can replace Guppy's head with the candle, Guppy's head with the candle, which sounds more sinister than it actually is, but if we re it sounds like some kind of old, you know, medieval punishment or torture, but if we replace Guppy's head with the candle, we all of a sudden have at least some kind of reliable damage. Chariot's fine. Uh, we'll use it against the boss. The other one is full health, so we'll save full health for the future and use the cherry card on the boss to hopefully speed it up a little bit. This is going to take forever. I'm extremely disappointed that we don't find ourselves... Uh... Oh, maybe it's not going to take forever, thanks to our orbitals, but um, extremely disappointed that we're not going to be able to get an arcade here, and as a result, probably not able to get... Uh... Oh, that's so good, though. Not able to get uh, Blue Candle, but we got Brimstone, Magic Mushroom, Contract from below. All of a sudden, this run looks a lot better. Magic Mushroom Brimstone, 
Makes me feel like I didn't maybe make the hugest mistake of my life by not, uh... By not, uh... Taking Blue Candle. And all of a sudden, I'm starting to see the glimmer of hope that, you know, 50, 50 wins and 50 games is very, very doable. You think I'm not gonna take Brimstone when the game's been raking us over the coals with this shit damage thus far? You are... Incorrect. <laughs> I'm not gonna pass a value judgment on you, but come on, use your noggin a little bit. Okay. All of a sudden, like I said, we're not too far away from being able to breathe a sigh of relief. Let's not get too cocky, though, <laughs> as, as we can see right there. Uh, we're still not in a winning... I mean, we're in a winning position, but we're not... We haven't won yet. You know, it's like being in a winning position in chess after, like, move 15. If you're in a... a solidly winning position and you're a decent chess player it's very unlikely that you make a blunder sizable enough to lose your advantage you know you're in like an 80 85 90 percent win rate or at least you know you're getting points out of that game if you're in a tournament setting however things can always go south if you fail to focus fail to pay attention and a couple of bad bounce well there's not really bad bounces in chess but you get the idea if your opponent you know comes back capitalizes on a few of your mistakes that uh, you didn't realize were mistakes at the time, all of a sudden you find yourself in a difficult place. The analogy for, like, the analog, I guess, for us is that um, we're in a position right now where we're doing fantastically. However, some things have not changed. Our HP still kind of sucks and we have no defensive items except for literally every orbital in the game. It's not worth figuratively every orbital in the game. Almost every orbital in the game. Um, so, what do we need to, to do? Take as little damage as possible and get a defensive item or just stack up enough spirit hearts that it, it doesn't matter. Toothpicks is good. We were taking a really long time to charge each shot, so this is a big help for us. And we have golden keys, and thank you to uh, Contract from Below for that. This is another really good item, and all of a sudden we've got great control over the movement of our enemies. Between the creep and the uh, and mom's contact now. We're going to do a little bit of exploration, because we should do a little bit of exploration. Let's let's get some opportunities here. Let's get some, some cards, maybe some black hearts. Very, very useful. We will go to our shop, but I'm thinking we wait like a minute. You know what? Let's do this. I think that we're going to find the uh, the secret room here. We had golden keys anyway, so, or a golden key, so it doesn't really make a huge difference. We're really hoping for a blood bank on the next floor. Like That could take us over the edge completely. IV bag, like, you don't think of it as a defensive item, even if you have, uh, Bloody Penny. Well, there's no denying that it could do some good for us. We have to go back through that room, so we will, uh, just save those keys for then and save the bombs for then. And we're getting a little silly, I think, with all this saving, but you get it, you know. Uh, a key saved is a key earned. Let's just make sure we actually do go back through that room. Ah, a double key room. Don't make me do it. You, I'm gonna have to do it, but don't make me. Four. So that rerolls the pedestals. Uh, there is a use for this, but I will reroll out of principle because I find the four room annoying and uh, shallow and pedantic. It rerolls all. No, it doesn't reroll the consumables. It rerolls the pedestals. Correct. Yeah. So our shop will not get rerolled because we didn't pick anything up. If we had picked something up and then gone to the four room, it would have been uh, rerolled. But for now, that basically does nothing. Four is actually a really good room in some situations, but I find myself kind of being like, ah, I don't really care about it right now. Most important thing for us is just play fundamentally, and if, or play with good fundamentals, and if we find ourselves coming across perhaps a one or a six room or a five room, I would definitely be all over it, a five room in particular. But, I mean, considering it's basically just a binary, are you going to do it or not kind of situation, I guess it doesn't really... <laughs> The, in particular, the five room would be a no-brainer. We would just beg and scream not to use the one and six room, but probably do it anyway. Uh, so we're at eight cents, nine bombs. That's enough to get something out of our shop if there's something good. And hive mind would be really nice. Okay, well, I didn't even have my finger on the key to charge brimstone because I was like, we're gonna get hive mind. I was, you know, using the power of positive thinking. There. There's also a tinted rock. Two extra spirit arts. This is getting dangerously close to being unlosable, and I don't want to jinx myself. However, we're getting very, very close to uh, a run that will be a win, and and 50 wins will slash feels like it would be ridiculous. 48-hour energy. Uh, this 48-hour energy. Why not? Right? Like we got. Um, 
a lot of flies to benefit from here. Might as well get a nice little fly army going. It's not going to last forever, but nothing does, man. Nothing does. This will help us out a little bit on the next floor, where we're very much hoping to find an arcade. Oh, don't do me dirty. Okay. Every time I enter one of these rooms, I'm like, thank fucking God. <laughs> thank God it's not a one or a six. What do we say to RN Jesus? Not today. Not today. It's the problem with being beholden to random. People might say, well, if you don't want to reroll, why don't you just not reroll? You don't understand. I want to reroll. It's just, it's like, I don't know. You ever have a hobby that is like, how about this? Like working out. If you're like really into working out, setting like personal bests on the clean and snatch. What a great expression. Um, you know, it's painful. Doing that is painful. It hurts. It's annoying. You know, you ache for for a day afterwards, but you want to do it. That's kind of how I feel about the, the reroll rooms. I'm like, it's good for me to do it because it keeps me on my toes. But yes, it's it's also shitty. <laughs> we don't have to do it. You know, why do you work out? It's like, well, you know, you don't understand. I want to. There's that drive. That drive for absurdity. It's a it's a important characteristic. It defines the series. Because the series isn't about the 50 streak. It's like I'm having a realization right now. It's not about the 50 streak, man. The series is about having fun. And that's where we're at right now. I'm having an awful lot of fun as we speak right now. Doing it my way. Um, we, we should go to our boss trap room. Because there is a small chance that we can actually turn this, you know, guppy train around. I don't think there's a high percentage chance of us doing it. But it's not super unlikely. Should probably shoot Brimstone instead of just playing this weird, like, IV bag meta in here. But, you know, winning the game is overrated. It's, it's entirely a fiscal power play for me right now. Here's another little bit of trivia for you. I already taught you a little bit about Cheddar that you may or may not have already known. In case it comes up on Final Jeopardy, you know what Canada's version of Wall Street is? Bay Street. Not Pay Street. Bay Street. There you go. If that comes up on Final Jeopardy, you're going to be like, thank you to this guy. That's all I ask. Just shout out my YouTube channel. And say that uh, everybody who subscribes is the coolest person in the world. And then we're even at that point. Depending on how much you bet, I guess. But we can tackle that at a later, later date. Um, we're doing fine with IV bag. I might as well, like, I think I just used it to get to 99 cents and then I, uh, call it quits. But as of right now, it actually has been really good for getting us back to nearly full health. And this will, uh, take us to 99, presumably, or at least 98. And then 99. Whoa, 10 years behind me. There we go. Guppy's head we'll take with us. We're doing good enough damage that, uh, Guppy's head is not insignificant. When you're doing shit damage, Guppy's Head is significant because it's your best damage dealer. When you're doing uh, great damage, Guppy's Head is significant because it does great damage. So what are we looking for on this floor? Well, open the door and get on the floor. And then after everybody walks the dinosaur, we're going to consider um, that maybe some spirit hearts would be worthwhile. A red chest full of them. I don't know what my brain was trying to accomplish there. We'll keep picking up these. Um, a red chest full of them would be good. I would also like a shop that does not have greed in it. Apart from that, I'm not going to be too picky because I think it's kind of unrealistic. I would like more damage, like more DPS upgrades. I would like a, a legitimate arcade. And on a legitimate arcade, maybe we could get a, uh, a judgment that we could play, a demon judgment we could play, and a judgment we could play to... Uh, well, explode and then give us a good deal with the devil chance. Not that we need anything more, but that doesn't mean we wouldn't like something more. Let's start blowing up some of these. More keys is not bad either. That was next on my list. See what that card is momentarily. For now, broken watch. I hate that we keep buying this by accident. The candle. I'm gonna take it. Uh, I'm gonna take it. You've been good for me, Guppy's head. And I appreciate that. You smart, you loyal, and all that. However, uh, our damage, it could do with a little bit of broken candle action, I think. What happened to my, my other full health card? Did I just get rid of it? Pill, I should say. Um, that's IV bag. It's very confused momentarily. 
Let's go find our item room and then we're uh, good to go. Not my favorite shop. I would have been totally content to just stick with Guppy's head as well. When are we going to use a uh, blue candle? I mean, this is kind of like it's tryout right now. If we decide that we don't want to use it, we can always uh, just go back with Guppy's head. It's not a big decision either way, though. I don't think, at least. Iron bar. Iron bar is pretty good. Enemies are going to be very confused, and if they weren't already having a hard time of getting to us, they're going to they're gonna really have a hard time getting to us now. Alright, I say we go. I mean, the ideal kind of blue candle payout, or use, I should say, is uh, an enemy that's relatively stationary. We just kind of toss it over. Oh, thank God we slowed down this room. Um, yeah, an enemy that's a boss that's stationary, we just kind of toss a uh, blue candle over there and it does a lot of damage to them while they're, while they're still alive. Okay. This is a crawl space with Rusted Key. As much as I like Rusted Key, and it's been an integral part of some of our runs, uh, I, I can't justify it right now because Bloody Penny might be the difference between life and death. It also may not be. But it may be the one to save me because after all you're a, a trinket y'all I think maybe like blue candle does more damage faster <laughs> but it it's less reliable sort of I don't really know how to articulate it but I know it when I see it I know a good blue candle opportunity when I see it obviously we want Polaroid here followed by the Krampus fight oh that's how we use it because we have mom's contact Freeze an enemy in place, then melt the, their asses down with the candle. Lump of coal, uh, I don't think it does anything for us, but... Not a big problem. Mr. Grinch. Do we have any red chests in here? We still have to, um... We still have to focus on this run. Because we're not really blowing the doors off in terms of our HP. And with every hit doing twice as much damage now, we have to be very careful. Especially... Yuck. Uh, especially depending on how our uh, deal with the devil looks. And we'll probably get a deal with the devil here. It's not necessarily a guarantee. But if we get a deal with the devil here, we have to be very, very careful about what we, uh, what we will and what we will not take. The ideal deal, so to speak, would probably just be like straight up two guppy items. Sounds like a restaurant order at Guy Fieri's place. One bomb? Eh, it's not a big enough deal for me to care, is what I'm getting at. What would also be an ideal payout for us? A golden chest with Tammy's head. I want a toilet made of solid gold, but sometimes it's not in the cards, baby. Yo. I was going to say Adam Sandler. Mike Myers took all the good Canadian version of the English accent, and I apologize that I could not live up to it, but that's just, you know, nobody expects me to. That's better. A luck upgrade is very helpful. I think that, uh, now I'm getting paranoid, like, is this a, is this a fast room? Like, that's where Broken Stopwatch can screw us a little bit, but I think we've done fine on this floor, all things considered. Could have been better, could have been worse. Ooh, two Burkano runes. That's actually pretty good. We'll save the Burkano rune, rune, until we get something better to replace it, or until we fight Isaac, one of the two. I realize that seems like it's a long way away, but this game has a tendency to move pretty quickly here. You know, I gotta say, I think I prefer Red Candle. Blue Candle, you know, evaporating a little more quickly, I'm not a huge fan of, but Red Candle does block shots, which is bad, but also if you have an enemy that's stuck on top of it, you know that they're getting roasted. We may or may not get roasted. Or, like, we may or may not roast enemies, is what I mean to say, but it's not that Blue Candle does not do a lot of damage as well. Totally whiffed on that one, but that's okay. We got Ball of Bandages for a second level orbital. It's okay. Charm Tears, basically, is what this gives us. And Guppy's Paw, which we have to take. Because it helps out our survivability. So we'll go full on, like, this is our commitment. We're not going to take any more HP upgrades, or if we do, we'll at least consider it closely. Um, our, our principal thing is going to be, this is our life, you know? Get permanent Polaroid invincibility every time you get hit and just just go for it, basically. And I think we're going to be fine. It's not really like we're in a... I, I shouldn't be like being uh, 
acted like this run is persecuting me or something like that. We have gotten Brimstone. It's been a very lucky situation for us. We're, we're missing one item, maybe. Like, one defensive item to take us super over the top. Oh no, a luck downgrade. But really, it's, uh... You're my friend. Thank you. He ain't heavy, man. He's my brother. We could just get uh, one defensive item. I'm not going to say Holy Mantle, but if you want to give me Holy Mantle. It rhymes with Holy Chantle. Okay, we have... If we get two Spirit Arts out of this, I'll be very happy. Alright, well, geez, you don't expect that to work out. Why two? Because we might go to our curse room. Yes. So we're going to be uh, breaking even bare minimum here. Okay, now we're not breaking even. No siree. Now we got an extra spirit art and a key out of it, and I'm feeling good. Plus, we're now at the HP cap, thanks to that double uh, payout there, which is nice. I did not think that you would be coming in this direction. That's okay. Everybody, uh, you know, gets a little mixed up from time to time. One more. One more. Oh, don't make me do it. It was a little tight. Now we have an arcade, at the point of the game in which I could not benefit less from it, basically. We have an arcade. There's an invisible, yeah. Maybe it wasn't invisible, it was just going over top of that thing. Gimme guppy. Gimme all your guppy, all your hugs and kisses too. Gimme all your guppy, don't give up until we get boom, 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 boom. I gotta just combine like four or five songs at once there, but at least it's not the Jay Giles band anymore. No offense meant to Jay Giles and his band. Of merry men. This has got to be the right way. It's just, it's too long to be a dead end without the game being exceptionally cruel. Yo, we don't need the full health pill. It does no benefit for us. Taking the long way around. We have no reason to stand next to a punching bag there. That's just recipe for complete failure. Let's see what we got going on here with it lives. Oh, that's good. And then I completely botched it because I got that tears downgraded and forgot how long it took to actually charge a shot. Well, now we can actually test it a little bit. What does more damage? Little Brimstone or... Sorry, regular Brimstone or Blue Candle. And honestly, it seems like it's Blue Candle. At least on like a single hit. But who knows uh, if, if we didn't take the time to like stop... To shoot Blue Candle if Little Brimstone would beat it on DPS, you know? We took a couple of hits there. That's okay, as long as we don't completely brick it on the cathedral. This is looking like win fucking 50, man. What? Since when? Northern Lion, 50 wins in a row. You tell me, 50, this motherfucker got 50 wins? All right. Well, this is me asking for trouble right now, but. You'll forgive me for having a, a little bit of a fuck the haters moment. I mean, like, it's not like a tough life or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, I, I see the people taking little snipes at me on the Binding of Isaac subreddit sometimes. They go, oh, Northern Line doesn't know what he's talking about. And then I chime in and go, hey, well, I've been practicing a little bit. They go, hey, uh, GG, Scumlord. Hey, I'm telling you, I, I put Scumlord in it, so now it's a joke, you know, and jokes don't hurt. This one goes, it's a toast to the douchebags. It's a toast to the assholes. Don't, we can't have a toast to the scumbags, though, because I, I think I'm included in there. But you know what? I could have a toast as well. Uh, is the whole white or whole wheat doesn't matter. Maybe a little rye. I'm a, I'm a toast aficionado. I'll, I'm the, I like toast the most. I am the toast with the most. And now we'll probably die on 51. I don't want a sandbag. We probably won't actually die on 51 because it's an Isaac run. But, you know, we got a long way to go until we encounter a run that is as significant uh, for symbolic or sentimental purposes as, as 50 is. 60 is actually, there's something sentimental about 60, if we can get there, not counting my chickens. Because, uh, 60 is one month without a loss. That's pretty, pretty special. Then 75 is like halfway from 50 to 100. Or three quarters of the way from 0 to 100, depending on your perspective. So, I mean, we're getting very much ahead of ourselves. But I'm just saying, th there are some milestones left if we do manage to hit 50 here. But they're, they're not close. They're pretty far away. Okay, give me a spirit heart here is, is fine. Sure, yeah, this is the best you can do, basically. Well, I'm sure glad I made the effort to get in here. At least we got out without getting hit. Still waiting for the, the Tammy's head pickup that will probably never come, but we don't need it, we just like it. Now I've done something terrible. 
Oh, we got invincibility. I was like, I would just uh, hole up in the corner. No, this is not necessary. There we go. Isaac? Oh my god. Okay. We'll fucking do it, but I don't really want to. As penance for me validating your dis existence uh, judgment, could you perhaps possibly pay out with a spirit? Uh, okay. It's not necessarily the wrong decision to take this, by the way. There's something to be said for, for taking that HP right now. I don't think it's the right call because I value the permanent Polaroid invincibility, but it's not necessarily the wrong call. Oh, two tiers upgrades right before the Isaac fight feels so good. Okay, freeze him. He is not frozen. That's okay. When we, f You know what? Fuck it. I was like, I'm going to freeze him and then get in there and uh, hit him with some uh, orbital damage. I think it's a very, very stupid idea. Why don't we just keep it super simple here? He's already slowed. You know, we're not very likely to take damage. At least we're not very likely to take much damage. I can't believe I got out of that. I really should not have. Shouldn't have been in that situation in the first place. But I was like, I want to I wanna kill his familiar, or his, his angel fetus, before things get too tricky here. That's a, a better shot there with Blue Candle for sure. And a really, really good Blue Candle shot is still doing unparalleled amounts of damage right now. That one's a l uh, it was pretty good, actually. One more hit should be able to finish the job. Not one more hit like that, one more hit like that. All right, down to the chest, and this is, a, this is a big moment for me. I'm excited, man. Curse of the Maze is not a death sentence at all. Eve's Mascara with Brimstone seems good, uh, even though the charge time's gonna be crazy. We did get two tiers upgrades. And then Spoonbender is so much fun. So as long as we have a charge ready when we enter a room, we should be able to do like serious, serious damage. Especially if we line ourselves up properly so we can actually hit like both enemies on a, a roughly similar kind of vector here. I don't know what hit me there. It must have been one of the eyes. Maybe I wasn't paying attention closely enough. We'll check out the, the big rooms because quite honestly we can. And not uh, have to worry too much about it. You know, our rate of fire is not that crazy. We now have very, very limited use for Blue Candle, I'll be the first to admit. <laughs> I like, there's something very satisfying about watching the sights disappear. Because they have been a real pain in the butt in my history. Alright, just war left. I'm, oh, I didn't even see that bomb, I got trapped in between him. That's okay. We basically need, I, I don't want to be overly cocky, necessarily, but we basically need one HP to be able to beat Blue Baby. I don't want to lose any HP that is unnecessary, but we can afford to take a hit here and there and still be conceivably completely fine. It is still taking a little longer than I'd like to charge up these tiers. That's Eve's Mascara for you, but it's all right. Uh, <laughs> sure. Quan Shot is gonna make it take, let's take them both for shits and gills. It's gonna take forever to charge our shot now. But, four homing lasers seems a uh, real swell. Get it charged up before we go in. It's gonna take forever, I can't stress enough. It's ready. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty sweet. And there's a good use for blue candle in between charges of this, because it takes forever to charge up. Um, Mom's Eye at least could be fun sometimes. And this is the end of this one. Oh, lordy, lordy. I can't believe we're going to be hitting 50 wins in a row. Now, they're not all random. They're not all Eden. But that's 50 wins, man. And 50 wins is 50 wins is 50 fucking wins. That's 5-0, man. That's like 40 hours without a loss. That feels really, really good. Well, for now, we'll be back with an Isaac run next time. Thank you to everyone who's helped me get to this point and is continuing to enjoy the series as I hope you are. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.